this up a little bit more. Take a little bit of white pencil, but just a touch. So you can see there's a value shift going on, but there's differing amounts of um, the paper showing through. This is kind of like you could say, um, oh, in painting, what's called scumbling. You take light uh, value paint and you kind of drag it over. Um, an area of the painting that's a little darker and then you get an optical mixture with the amount of the um, uh, darker area of the painting that shows through. say the approximations that I'm doing right now, the white pencil. Now I'm going to kind of go back in with the white pencil and just, uh, I want to say, start to really get nitpicky with refining a lot of the shapes now that I know where everything's going to be placed, a general idea of my lights and darks. I mean, if I was doing this at home, I, I certainly would be taking a lot longer and going a lot slower pace, but for demo purposes, we're kind of rushing it along a little bit. So That's why I've kind of um, uh, set up two-day poses for everybody, because you're going to need six hours to, to work through all the problems. Basically, going to start bringing up the values of the light little by little as I need to now that I know where things are falling. thing I wouldn't do is try to rub too much of that white pencil because you can end up lifting some of it up which can uh, work against you. It's not quite like the black pencil. So you really have to pay attention to the kind of hatch marks you make, the direction of them. I almost want to say, I think I made, a re made this reference before, I'm, with my pencil I'm almost pretending like it's a chisel going over the uh, actual, you know, marble-like sculpture of the head. So that's one of the things I kind of keep in mind as I'm trying to 
hatch in areas of value shift. And I want to say, you know, identify where your um, lightest lights are and your darkest darks, but avoid making them really super light and super dark in the beginning. Just use them, I want to say, as a gauge, as a key to help assess everything else, which is kind of what I'm doing right now. Kind of gradually working my way away from that middle tone of the paper, a little darker as I need to, a little lighter as I need to. I'm also thinking of edges, so if you notice most of the drawing is kind of gradually gone from soft edge to little by little more pronounced edges. good artist to reference for this would be uh, Perdon. I think I have uh, images of his um, tone paper drawings with white pencil on the Class Notes website under Master Drawings. You can see his subtle use of uh, white pencil and how he was able to build the form that way. Here the light kind of gradually gets a little darker because of the, the change in the, um, the form of the head. just the nature of any kind of drawing. It's a gradual, gradual, gradual build-up. So I think, the, like I was saying a minute ago, the best way to deal with an area of form that's really difficult or subtle is almost pretend like you're actually up there touching it. You know, don't actually go up and touch it. You know, like in trouble if you touch tomorrow. <laughs> 